Hello. Um, at my church, uh, I took a uh, net mending class. It's a Bible-based church, and there's a, um, a sample prayer to heal anyone who's been abused. It says, um, a prayer to heal the abused. So I would like to invite um, uh, any woman. I'm, I'm going to pray for a woman so it's easier to say the prayer. So, um, so if you are a woman who has had any kind of abuse, uh, sexual, physical, emotional, spiritual, any kind of abuse, um, I would like to pray for you. And I'm going to read this prayer. And this prayer is just a guide. Um, <clears throat> when you pray for people, you should be led by the Holy Spirit. But I'm going to read this um, format, this prayer, and pray for you. So um, if you would uh, bow your head, and I'm going to pray for you. Lord Jesus, I lift up the woman who is listening to this video who has been sinned against. I ask you to communicate to her heart that it was not her fault. A bad thing has happened, but she is not a bad person. She did not make the abuser hurt her. The abuser did that all on his own. Jesus, speak the truth to her heart. Help her know that you really do love her with a clean, non-abusive love. You have not rejected or abandoned her. Cause the pure living water of your presence to flow over her at a pace that is respectful of her. And Jesus, I thank you that you know how close you can come to the woman listening to this video without frightening her. I thank you that you do not violate her boundaries. Wash her clean inside and out. Wash away the defilement with wave after wave of your love. Wash away the smells, the sounds, and the touch sensations. Clothe her in your truth and righteousness. Cause her conscience to be clear. Separate her spirit, Lord, from the one who abused. Father, this has so shattered her trust. Is dis it is difficult to trust or believe anyone. Together we ask you to begin the process of restoring that broken trust. The practice ways that do not lead to life. <clears throat> Lord, we bring to you and we list them and pray through the bitter root judgments and vows. So this is where if you made any vows that I will never trust men again or I will never do this again, you would list um, to the Lord any vows you had made. These ways have been hurtful to her and to others, so we ask you to deal with them, Lord, Minister to the fear, the loneliness, the weariness, the confusion, and the anger. Lift it all out, Jesus, and replace it with your comfort that goes deep into the bones. We give you the anger at whatever person for not protecting this woman or for not believing this woman. We give you all the anger, Lord. Lord Jesus, please replace it with your peace and the truth of who this woman watching this video really is in your eyes. May she come to know her identity as your cherished, cherished child. Cause the eyes of her spirit to see you, to see the pride in your eyes that she has come to you, to see your delight in her presence. Show her those people in her life who are worthy of trust. Bring comfort to the bruised and broken places. Bring healing to her relationship with you and with whoever else that this woman needs healing with. Your mother, your parents, boyfriends, spouses, bosses. This is where you would list bring healing to her relationships with you and with 
Wrap her up in your glory as a protection. Hide her from the powers of darkness. Together we forgive for her having responded physically and forgive her for ways that she has judged, condemned, or looked down on her body. Lord, you made us to respond. Help her spirit to know that you do not condemn her. It is not her body's fault. It was made that way. It was a natural response. Her no was not listened to. Her person and her boundaries were not respected. Lift off all the guilt. May your glory continue to heal her. May it hide her and be a protection for her. Thank you, Jesus, that you do care. In the name of Jesus, amen. So if you would like a copy of this prayer, um, I can send it to you. Um, again, this prayer is just um, a sample prayer. It's not a formula. Um, but you should be led by the Holy Spirit, and uh, you can use this as a guide. So um, no matter what's happened to you as a child, um, you can be healed and forgiven um, by the blood of Jesus and by taking it to the cross. There is no sin that cannot be healed or forgiven and no abuse that cannot be restored um, to wholeness. God bless everyone and have a wonderful day.